everyone, how are you? Hope you're having a really, really good Wednesday. If you're watching this video whilst I'm on live, please say hello. Um, once you've watched this video, please also give me a thumbs up as well. Um, I wanted to come on because talking about this yesterday in terms of where my, and in my post, where my mindset is from where it was two years ago to where it is now. And I suppose what I want to show you is the work that I've put in, in terms of my mindset. So uh, most people will be seeing me every day, checking in, doing my, doing my workouts and showing what I do to work sort of on my body physically. But in terms of the behind the scenes and in my head, what I'm doing every single day to take my mindset forward and to get stronger mentally, this has really, really impacted um, everything in terms of my life with my, when, once you work on, on this muscle. So I want to sort of go through even just an example of some of the things that I've done. And then what I'll do is I'll add the links in below. So if there's anything that, that resonate with you, you think actually that's one I want to read next and I'll let you know. So I was going around the house and I have got more, but it's just an absolute, we've, cause we pulled everything from upstairs in terms of what was the office to downstairs. We are in like a mid transition. So just so you can see, keeping it real is to, there's chaos, chaos going on in our house as well. So this is what I'm currently looking at. So we've got the old cot there that we're raising to get rid of. An old bed that's waiting to go. All the, all the paperwork. So that's where, that's where they're at at the moment in terms of just sorting things. I'm going to process of taking out this week. Um, but I wanted to come on to go through, as I said, some of the, the, the books that I've gone through. So again, you may find it easier to read or you may find it easier to listen to Audible. But this is a trick. If you, if you view these and view books as like a program, a training program that you if you're doing like you're, you're going from one program to the other working your body this is what you should be doing in terms of your mindset and then together that's what's, what's going to take you to a different place so i was going around the house bringing out as many books as i can and i know there are more i just need to find them but i thought well i'll do it i'll, I'll, I'll show you what i've actually read so far and then i can if you want me to i'll, I'll put the list of them all in and tag them in so you can have a look. So I do, I read a lot of, I think I've read most of Larry Wingett's books and he's basically a bit of a, a no-nonsense type of author where there's a bit of language in it. So if you if you, if you you don't like language, then maybe not for you, but he's telling it how it is. Um, so it's called Work for a Reason is one of the books. Um, he's one of the Shut Up, Stop Whining, um, Get a Life book. Um, I'll add the links in for them there. That was a very, very good book. And generally what I do is you will see, I'll, See as I'm going through, I, I highlight in bits that resonate with me. Because what happens with the with the books is I'll always take things away from the books in terms of mindset. And then like it's been a while since I've read that. I'll probably go over that and read that again. And I'll take a different highlighter out because now I'm a year on from that, and there'll be other things that I will pick up from the book. It's really interesting the way your brain changes. This lean in book which was um, Shel Sandberg. So she was um, part of Facebook. Um, that's a really, really good book as well. And sort of, sort of how she sort of grew and got to the top. The Goddess Revolution, Make Peace With Food, Love Your Body, Reclaim Your Life. I've read that. I've read um, Gary Vaynerchuk. So if ever, or anyone's ever seen Gary Vaynerchuk, he's he's a bit, he's what another one that will say it as it is and there's some swear words, but he's jab, jab, right hook. This is more of a business book. So it's like if you wanted to learn sort of how to use social media, things like that, that's a great book. I've got Connect. This is another, again, business book. So I'm working between business and mindset books all the time, which are going to help me. So this doesn't matter. In terms of like some business books, you may not be running a business, but it's a great way to sort of start thinking outside the box and, and make, making you realise that anyone can run a business, but they have to train their brain to think differently for that. So that's one called Connect. Eat That Frog is a great one because it's about what, what we can generally do is we can procrastinate and the big jobs that we want to get do, we just push off because it's like, oh, it's too much of a job, too much of a big job. Whereas this is about teaching you to eat that frog and do like the, the big and the ugly job that you want to get it done first thing so it's out the way. Get Rich Lucky Bitch is a great, great book and there's an app that comes with that that will help you sort of get your finances and that on track. We've got Sean T, so for the loves of Sean T, Sean T, T is for transformations. That's his story about where he came from. You know, he was, he was, he was larger when he, he was, he was quite big when he was younger and sort of all the things that he went through and how he's got through it and overcome. It's a really, really inspirational story. So you can see there's different things that, that, 
depend that my mindset that I'm constantly working on. Now, this is one for anyone that's got girls. This is a really, really good book. So it's 10 Things Girls Need Most. So it's so and it's by Steve Biddulph. And it's actually a really, really good book. So if you've got um, girls, you know, young girl, girl growing up, it's a great one to read and really makes you think, think about things. So as you can see, I'm not just looking at sort of business um, or, or sort of mindset. I'm also looking at sort of things related to family. So a really, really mixed thing. The jelly effect is another one. How to make your communication stick. Achieve the impossible. So again, it's making you think outside the box and understand that you can actually achieve things. It's taking one step at a time. There's so much, you can see I'm, I'm going on and on. The how to be great at the stuff you hate. How many things do you hate doing? It could be presenting, it could be going live. It could be so many different things. Confrontation, cold calling. Um, let me just see what else there was in here. Um, going to like your first networking event. Those type of things, asking questions. That's a great book as well. You can be happy. The book doesn't make me think differently about, you know, if, if you're struggling with moods at the moment, that's a great book. The Chimp Paradox is another great book that's got re that got really, really good reviews. So I got that friend recommended that to me. But again, that's more of a, like a, a bit of a, a, a business style mindset book as well. As our girl Rachel Hollis, Girl Wash Your Face, and she also does Girl Stop Apologising. They're both fantastic books. And then the 12 week year. So they're just a handful of books that I've read. And what I will do is I'll, I said, I'll put the links in below. So if there's anything that you want to, um, if, you, if you're looking to get or you want to do Audible, then you know where to go for them. When I find all the other books, because it's literally piles and piles and piles of them. Um, and I don't, again, I generally don't get rid of my books because what I will do is if I get to the point where I haven't got any more books because I've read them all. I'll then go back to a book that I haven't read for a long time and go through it. And if I've already highlighted it, I will then go over it and use a different highlighter and go through it because you will guarantee that my mindset has shifted since reading it the first time and I'm now um, picking up other things along the way. So I hope this has helped you and helped you realise that if you're just doing your workouts and you're looking at your nutrition and you're thinking you're just struggling, you're literally struggling through the day, it could be because you, you, you're not working on your mindset that that's impacting it. This this is where you know you'll start seizing the day more once you start reading and <laughs> good look at that. <laughs> once you start reading it and um, taking everything in and again it's mixing it up as well. So it's not just doing all about once one type of thing. Be it all about or mindset. It could be about business. It could be about family. Things that you're going to learn each time so that you're taking your mind forward. Um, if you find that you struggle with time to read, then again, I would definitely reckon audible, re recommend doing sort of um, sort of audio, listening it, listen it through podcasts or on, on headphones. And for me, one of the tips that I, that I use is, okay, I'll, I'll put headphones in if I'm, if I'm doing, you know, washing up or anything like that. I can put the headphones in and I can listen to it. Or if I'm in the car and I haven't got the kids, then I'll, I won't be listening to music. I will be listening to things all around mindset. So I hope that helps, gives you some things to think about. So from that, on that note, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. If there are any particular areas that you're struggling in, let me know. And I'll say, well, actually, this would be probably a good book for you to read right now because it's not saying everyone is at that point. Hi, Leanne, everyone is at that point at the moment that they should be reading a particular book. We are all going to have different mindsets and it'd be at different places that we need to work on. So I hope this has helped and any questions at all, please, please, please let me know. Have a great Wednesday and speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.